great Sunday evening, January 10th, 2021. To God be the glory for the closing of a wonderful worship day, the second Sunday of this new year. And I reminded Timotheus that he only has a half a year left of his last year of teenage life. So what was that algorithm? So he has six months left of being 19 years old until he turns 20. And it's just such a blessing, like I said, to have been able to walk alongside and enjoy all these 19 years with him. And this is about a journey you know, as far as the Lord places us on a path, we might not understand the detours, the directions, but the Lord has a plan. And the Lord had a plan for the Israelites when they were trying to escape from Pharaoh. And you know the story. He realized like, what? I let them leave? Uh-uh. This is not a good plan. So he took 600 men and chariots. And he pursued them. And we know that this is the story of how God parted the sea and the water went up as a wall. And the Lord will part our difficulties and give us a smooth path. But we have to pursue him. We have to follow his way. I was singing that song or humming that song today. I'll follow him with rejoicing. We might not know where we're going, but as long as the Lord is in front of us, we can just be joyful that he will navigate us all the way. What do you have to say about this chapter, Timotheus? Uh, not much, but what you said about it being like a clear path, I don't mean that the journey before that won't be, won't be uh, hard. Because, mm -hmm. like, you know, Moses and them, they went through quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So, um, you still have to do your part before then and, you know, work hard and be mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, it'll be like a, a clear um, path to victory. Amen. And we know that there will be trials and tribulations along the way. But the Lord continually promises his children throughout for the duration of 2021 and the rest of our lives, verse 14, the Lord shall fight for us. The Lord shall fight for you. The Lord Amen. shall fight for me. And we shall hold our peace no matter what comes our way. I have a testimony I could just think about a week ago, what the Lord brought me through. Oh my goodness. It was a Red Sea experience, but the Lord parted the waters. He spoke his peace in my ear, and he said, no, Michelle, do this, do this, do this. Just trust me with all your heart. Just rely on me. I have a plan. I know what I'm doing. And it was severe, but God gave me his blessed consolation, and he fought for me. He parted the, the difficulties, and, and at the end, it was his blessed assurance that was right with me. And I got the victory. And everyone involved in that situation was able to realize victory. Well, that's, that's the nature of the Lord. He wants us to put our all on him and to him. Thus the Lord saved Israel. Thus the Lord saved Michelle in that situation. And everyone involved. That day, out of the hand, that day, that last week, out of the hand of whatever was the situation that was negative. So we thank the Lord. We thank the Lord that we can be here tonight and declare his greatness. The blessings of the Lord, hallelujah, and maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. What do you, do you have anything to say? Well, in Proverbs 10, well, you're about to go into a new journey as far as um, having another opportunity the Lord has blessed you with. Uh, all I have to say is practice industry now. Practice whatsoever your hands find it to do. Do it with all thy might. Um, practice uh, doing all unto the Lord. And it says in verse 26, as vinegar 
to the T. You don't want to have that feeling because that that's that's unpleasant. And as smoke to the eyes, ooh, ooh, it makes you almost tear, right? It makes you cry. So is the sluggard to them that send him. No one wants to have someone on their team to, who is not pulling their weight. They want someone who's hardworking. They want someone who is using wisdom. They want an asset and not a liability. And when we are dealing with a slack hand with whatever God has given us, then we'll become poor. But the hand of the diligent maketh rich. So we want to make sure our hands are being productive and not just being slowful and slacking, but doing the work of the Lord and knowing that he is going to lead us all the way. All right. Have a great ending of this week or beginning of this week and know God will do great things.